Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for 10 to 14 days for today's second video. So day 10 will take us to the 22nd of June and we'll be able to extend that beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. Maybe on to around a couple of weeks, we'll have a look at CFS B2 at the end of the video. For the next four weeks, that gets us into the first half of July and I'll get on with that for you in a moment. To say that first, video there. Our six of UK went for a girl. Please like, share, and subscribe on both of today's vids. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. About 70 subscribers gets us to uh, 20k. No, only seven, uh, 70 subscribers need needed to get to uh, 20,000. Please give us a sub and thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. For gals or weather vids, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, right, okay, let's start off with the latest wind from a map from EarthNoSchool.net. Showing that got low pressure in the Atlantic to West UK and Ireland. High pressure is up over Scandinavia. And we're bringing the wind in from an easterly or a southeasterly uh, direction there. So, uh, pretty warm today. And, of course, the low pressure out to the west with a bit of a fungy feature down here as well combining with those warm southerly southeast winds to act to trigger some heavy rain and possibly thunderstorms central england temperature is currently sitting at 13.5 that's 0.6 degrees below the 61 to 1990 average and that is provisional to uh yesterday no that's provisional to the temp which of course is going to be Tuesday. <laughs> These are the GFS of rare temperature adaptation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at London today, the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature actual London. So it's starting off above average with the upper air temperatures at the moment. They're going to be coming down after this a very warm, thundery interlude. But then we see them taking off again as we go through the third week and into the final week of June. So possibly another push up in the uh, temperature to come and might turn quite hot again. Any time between around the uh, 20th and the 25th of June. Precipitation wise, a lot of dry weather. So this uh, rainfall spike just here associated with chance of thunderstorms. Um, on uh, Friday night and Saturday. But after that, looking mainly dry through the third week of the June. And even it's a very extended range, looks pretty dry. So high pressure on the way back. Temperature normally is six, five days uh, warmer than average. Six to ten day also coming out uh, warmer than average. And the ten to fourteen days above average as well. Precipitation anomaly is the next seven days to the 19th of June, drier than average in the east, but wetter than average out in the west. Right, let's start going through some chart data then. This is our latest UK Met Euro run is looking for midnight on Sunday. High pressure south, low pressure to the north, and we bring the wind in from the west into uh, Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. High pressure strengthening through next week so turning drier that big area of high pressure pushing back up from the south turning drier and warmer icon again building up high pressure through next week gonna be lots of dry warm weather to come so uh, by the end of next week well next Thursday high pressures out to the west we bring bringing in a little bit of a northwesterly flow there that could bring some showers to the north, but the emphasis is on dry weather next week. Uh, KMA is uh, also building up that high pressure from the southwest as we're going uh, through next week. So lots of dry weather to come there. Big area of high pressure by the end of next week, 1,030 millibars sitting over the top of the country. And check this out into extending. That high pressure is going nowhere fast either. So KMA really going to town today with high pressure. Of course, that will deliver not only dry weather, but also very warm conditions too. But GFS midnight run. So uh, that one also builds up some high pressure through the early part of next week. Develops into a proper ridge across the country for the second half of next week. And begins to pull up like a subtly south easterly flow. So turning very warm again later next week. That could be a little bit fungy there into the weekend of the 21st of the 22nd of June. 
of enemy Ferex any range. Uh, well, low press has a go at coming back in. It's only been all wet, windy, the south still mostly dry. Later on, towards the end of June, gets 28th. Of course, Grassley period. Signs of a breakdown then with wet weather sweeping in from off the Atlantic. Don't worry, Glasgow goers. <laughs> That's a long way out as these subjects change. Glasgow updates, by the way, begin on the channel tomorrow. Blimey. GFS, more about that at the end of the video. GFS 6 said, it's again building up that high pressure for the uh, southwest through the early part of next week. Brings a lot of dry weather with it. High pressure right over top of the country into the second half of uh, next week. And then lower pressure edging in from off the Atlantic around day 9 and 10, turning things more unsettled and showery and cooler. Rather cool and showery with GFS 6 said into the last week of uh, June before high pressure again re establishes and returns us to mostly dry. And warm weather this time, just in time for the Glastonbury period. That's how the uh, moral chop and change back far around. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. And why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content, live streams too. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gaz Weathers and get them to subscribe too. Uh, we only need to put on around 70 subscribers to get ourselves to uh, 20k, 20,000 subscribers. So please give us a sub. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, GM with uh, low pressure, low air pressure to the north on Sunday, but high pressure building up from the southwest bringing a lot of dry weather with it as we go through next week we are high and dry and about large anti-cyclone that gets us to the 22nd of june day 10 high pressure is centered over top of the country winds are coming in from a southeast direction so at the very least it will be very warm if not quite hot with lots of sunshine and dry conditions and then we've got the ECM rounding it all off with a trough clearing away through Sunday and Monday, allowing high pressure to build up from the southwest. So through next week, the trend is to warmer and drier conditions, hotter, drier conditions uh, into Saturday and uh, Sunday. Well, of the 21st, 22nd of June, high pressure weakens a bit with a trough coming into the door, but essentially high, high pressure goes on. Um, more or less to the end of the ECM run, gets us to the 27th, where it might go uh, a little bit more showery then. But the emphasis is on high pressure. These, uh, this is the precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tibet.com. Heavy showers, possibly thunderstorms running up the western side uh, through the course of today. Things will go quiet tonight, but tomorrow will deliver more downpours. Uh, there could be thunderstorms, this time more southern, central and eastern uh, regions overnight, Friday and Saturday. That wet weather pushing northwards through Saturday itself, leaving us with uh, showers into uh, Sunday. Next week, the trend is a drying one as pressure builds. So when we get to about Monday onwards, many places will say dry them up to day 10. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 22nd of June. 23 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure right over top of the country. 15 with high pressure over and to the east of the country. The lower pressure is away to the north. Again, that brings up southerly southeast. You throw mostly dry, very warm with that. And 13 with some higher pressure to the south. Some lower pressure to the north and uh, bringing in a westerly flow. A little bit showery for the north, but main dry down the south. If you put the 23 here, both together with the 15 there, we have a strong trend to a uh, high pressure at day 10 in the ECM ensembles. And then in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. It'll go to the 27th of June. 25 members of the ECM ensembles with lower pressure to the north, east, high pressure to the west, bring in sort of a westerly type flow. We've got 17 with high pressure to the north and the west. Should be a lot of dry weather with that. And we've got, uh, but it could be a bit cooler with that. Winds in from the northeast, I suppose. And then we've got nine uh, with high pressure right over top of the country. So a bit of uncertainty in the placement of high pressure at two weeks out. Still relatively anti-cyclonic trends, though, I have to say. And then the uh, CFS V2 means a 500 millibar height anomaly. So they're broken down into weak pairs. The first week pair will be taking us from the 12th through to the 18th of June. But next week with high pressure 
over and to the east of the country. That will bring up like a southerly flow, though mostly dry, potentially very warm, if not quite hot. Uh, week two will be the uh, 19th to the 25th of June, and then high pressure is right over the top of the country. Week three is going to be the 26th of June to the 2nd of July. Again, high pressure centred over the country. Week four rounds it all off. Slight change then. The 3rd to the 9th of July. High pressure moves out into the Atlantic somewhat. A wind's coming in from a westerly direction then. But of course, that's four weeks away and it's a long way off. High pressure looks like it's dominating the weather, at least for the rest of June, probably into July. But those are weekly anomalies, so there will be day-to-day -day variation fluctuations on that. But the overall trend, as it has been for several months and continues to be, is high pressure and lots of dry weather. Of course, temperatures are likely to be hot at times as well. And we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks to show everyone for doing that. Make sure you drop a comment. Let's so, know anything about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about gas weather. Get them to subscribe to. Only to put on 70 subscribers to get ourselves to. Oh, that was a bit blurred. Get ourselves to um, uh, 20k. So, quick good stuff. That'd be amazing. Right, tomorrow, we're going to have a, uh, we're gonna have a UK weather forecast. We'll be 10 to 14 down. And if you're all waiting, and I know so many of you are, because I've been inundated with questions all over the socials about it. So if you're waiting for Glastonbury updates, the countdown to the 2025 Glastonbury Festival begins tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, there'll be update number one. So uh, watch out for that if you want to know about the weather, potentially, anyway, for Glastonbury. For this one, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. And bye for now.